Hi guys! Today I will be sharing how to make ginataang pilo-pilo or ginataang halo-halo. I'm showing you the ingredients now before I cut them because with this recipe you don't have exact um, measurements. So I've got the um, tapioca pearls or sago that I cook already. It's got some water on it so it doesn't stick together. I've got, I don't have ube so i'm using ube powder instead so i'm gonna rehydrate this um ube i've got half a cup of water in here and then two tablespoon of um dehydrated ube and then two tablespoon of sugar i'm gonna cook this until the water evaporates at this point the water has evaporated but the ube is not yet cooked so what I'll do is add another half a cup of, of water. So all in all, there's one cup of water, two tablespoons of obe powder, and two tablespoons of sugar. So we're going to cook this until um, the obe coats the bottom of the pan, just like this. Now we're just going to set this aside, transfer it into a bowl while we move on to the next step. So I measured two and a half cups of glutinous rice flour and then I'm slowly adding water so all in all I add about one and one fourth cup of water we need to be able to form a dough just like this and now I just gonna get or I just gonna pinch a little bit of the dough and roll it into a ball just like this this is by no means a traditional way of making bilo bilo there are some things that I modify but if you live overseas sometimes it's hard to find the ingredients that you need so you make modifications to um, make the food that you miss eating from where you used to live so I'm adding a little bit one and a half tablespoon of the ube and add it into my um, dough at this point it will be very sticky um, I'm gonna add one to two drops of ube flavoring this is totally optional you don't need to do this step but since I don't have ube I'm trying to make up by doing this so at this point this is very sticky and to correct this I gonna add more glutinous rice flour this is about one teaspoon that I'm adding so at this point it's still very wet so I'm gonna add another one teaspoon approximately so now this dough is ready to be rolled I'm rolling it as well I'm rolling it into a ball as well So continue doing this until you finish with all of it. This is about two cups of taro. All in all, I use about one and one fourth cup of sugar, the obi that we made before. This is about half a cup of langka. Saging na saba or kardava banana. Well, about one and a half cups of sweet potato and this is um, the sago I measured it and cook half a cup and then cook it so it doubles in the amount and then the glutinous rice flour dough I use two and a half cans of um, coconut cream which is 400 ml each I added about five cups of water in a pot and then I added two cans of coconut cream and then I just gonna let this boil so now that the mixture is boiling we can add the root vegetables so this is the sweet potatoes and then I'm adding the taro if you're using using fresh ube you will add that here as well Now that our um, root vegetables is halfway cooked, we can add the bananas. 
at this point there's no particular order of which ingredients you will put first so I just gonna let this um, boil for about a minute before I add my next ingredients by the way um don't forget to occasionally um, mix the ingredients now I'm adding one cup of sugar at this point then taste I happen to find pandan leaves in my freezer so I add it in here but if you have a ready um, pandan add it at the start when you add water and um, coconut so it adds more flavor as well so at this point we can add the glutinous rice balls make sure not to put them like all in one go so they don't stick together so at this point, I'm going to stop and then I'm going to mix and then continue adding one by one. The glutinous rice balls is now ready. It's floating on the top. So we can add the tapioca pearls or sago. And then I'm gonna add the jackfruit and half of the coconut cream. My pot is almost full, so bear with me here. I'm being careful stirring this. At this point, I will add the ube, all of it. Then I will mix it. Now that it's boiling, to thicken this up, I'm gonna use two tablespoon of the glutinous rice flour and four tablespoon of water. It's one, two, three, and four tablespoon of water. And then I will add this into the mixture just to thicken up the bilo bilo. So I tasted it and it needs a little bit more sweetness so I added 1 fourth cup of sugar. At this point, this is ready. It's done. This can be eaten cold or hot. It tastes very good the next day as well. Now I'm going to remove the pandan leaves, we don't need this anymore. Now we can transfer this into your serving platter. And this is the finished product, I hope you give them a try. I tried to make this in time for Easter so you can make it as well. Um, traditionally, we always make them um, every Easter Sunday. And this is what it looks like. As this one sits, especially when you put it in the fridge, it thickens. So try not to make it too thick that it's hard to eat. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next week. Bye!